I have challenged pro gaming YouTuber Vicstar to a gaming face-off. There's a catch. I told him, I'm so confident that I'm going to win that I'm going to build a setup that is a fraction of the price of your setup and still take you on. Okay, I like it. I'm always up for a challenge. He also just so happens to have one of the most expensive gaming setups money can buy. So in order for me to even stand a chance, I have to make a tiny bit of money in comparison go a really, really long way. Okay, so let's get the peripherals out of the way. So at least we know how much we have left for the gaming PC itself. I mean, Addison's pretty good. $20 for a decent looking backlit keyboard. Wait, mechanical for $15? It's definitely worth spending a little bit more than the base price if I can make sure I avoid ghosting, which is where with cheap keyboards, by pressing one key, you accidentally trigger some of the others around it. You know what? I'm 100% sure these people have just imported it from China. So let's see how much cheaper we can get it if we just go direct from source. $10! It seems to have pretty short key travel, which is good for responsiveness. Anti-ghosting, compact layout, backlighting, so I can show up in style. Waterproofing could come in handy, <laughs> depending on how the game goes. Nice, let's get this. So while we're here, we've got to find what mouse we're getting as well. Okay, so what do I want? I want something that's wired, so it's got as little latency as possible. Something that's comfortable, so that I can perform optimally. And I guess something that looks cool too, because don't want Vic to laugh at me. I, mean, I don't know what a 6D key dazzle is, but uh, Vic sure won't see it coming. <laughs> I think this is the one. $2.99. We are smashing it right now. So I've got to go for a desk. It probably doesn't make sense to import that from China. Oh Lord, these are so expensive. Maybe Amazon's better? It's like £90 minimum. I need to save every penny for that PC if I actually want to run the game properly. Oh, I've got to get a monitor as well. All within $500. When all else fails. Ikea. Yes! The price difference is incredible. I guess that's the beauty of it coming unassembled. It'll save like three quarters of the shipping cost. Do you know what would be really funny is after we beat Vicstar at this game, we ask him how much he thinks the overall setup cost. Watch how wrong he's going to be. I think what's going to make a really big difference is if I can get one of those extra large mouse pads. Just be able to glide my mouse around. And these are really cheap. It's going to massively reduce the amount of friction between our mouse and our table. And $500 really is not a lot to cover everything. Facebook. Marketplace. This is so cheap. For £60, I can get a curved 2K monitor. I feel like I've just discovered a gold mine. I don't understand these descriptions. It literally just says curved monitor, good condition, 40 each, have two. But which curved monitor? I think I want to take a gamble. £40 is a safe amount of money, and this looks like a really good screen. Let's message the seller. I've never used this site before, but this is quite exciting. If that works out, it means we're still in the first $100 of our budget, which actually gives us a fair bit to get a decent gaming PC. So I search gaming PC and every initially suggested option is already above our entire budget. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I should stop looking at that. <laughs> Just had an idea. If I look up the recommended specs for the Halo game that we'll be playing, that'll give me a framework for the kind of PC spec I'm looking for that the game will have been designed to work with. <sighs> Quite a high spec. The graphics card on its own is two to three hundred pounds. Facebook Marketplace is my last hope. Maybe if I limit my price to around four hundred, I can just see what the absolute best I can get is. This is very, very close. Ryzen 5 2600. It's got an RTX 2060 Super, basically the same as the 2070. Fits within our budget, just about. The processor is very slightly weaker, but we can make this work. So if that goes to plan, we have a tiny bit of spare budget right now, and I would like to spend it on RGB. If you've seen Vic's toy of his studio space, he has the most ridiculous setup. There's RGB lights everywhere, and I do not want to be embarrassed. A rhythm soundbar. I mean, Vic can have his party with his fancy LEDs. I'll be having a great time knowing that I spent 66 cents to get this. Let's get two of these. Oh, Vic also has a starry sky ceiling in his gaming setup, because Vic, star. He will no longer shine the brightest. I want to see if I can outdo him. I think if I use these in a subtle way, it'll be tasteful. We could just get a massive like LED strip and do the classic <laughs> line it around the edges of the desk. Tech YouTuber 101. Five meters of this is a dollar. Oh, sugar. I completely forgot to get a chair. I can't get an office chair, that's for sure. <laughs> so for 17 pound, I could get a stool that kind of matches my setup. I think that's what we have to go for. Better than a cardboard box, that's for sure. Right, that's everything bought. Let's see what shows up. Everything's arrived, but we only have two days till I face off with Vic. That's the hidden cost of going with Facebook Marketplace. But at the same time, I am struggling to believe that this stuff is actually real and here. Like, this mouse was $2.99? Uh, kind of feels like Instagram yeah. versus reality. Uh, bro, did you literally just hear mouse and come running in? <laughs> I remember the LED strip was shockingly, shockingly cheap. I really, really hope these work, because just a little bit of LED, it doesn't matter how cheap it is, makes such a difference to the atmosphere in a setup. This was $1, and we've got 40 different lighting modes. 2.5 cents per mode. I hope this is a little more impressive than the mouse. You can tell they painted this with a very, very quick spray and not gone over it again. Oh, this is cool. 
Vic is gonna like this. Maybe he wins, I'll let him keep it. So this is our $3 extra, extra large mouse pad. This is pretty nice. It's really grippy on the back and it might even make this mouse work on the front. <laughs> oh yes, this is uh, probably one of the most exciting parts of this. I mean, they feel light and fairly cheap. It actually works. Look at this. It really makes you realize how much of a ridiculous markup there is on LED gadgets in most Western countries. I think Vic is gonna be very jealous. This is actually quite a fun one. This has got our desk. Ikea has really kind of cornered the market on low cost furniture. Nothing was even close to this price online. Wait a second. They've given us two. <laughs> one for Vic. You really just can't tell from this finish that the whole thing was like 30 pounds. That's a beauty. I can't speak for how comfortable this is going to be. I mean, it's not dream gamer setup vibes, but to be honest, to get a PC like that, I'm happy to save on the stool. Did we go so low budget that we only got one side to our case? I'm kidding, this is actually quite a solid feeling, almost like a test bed kind of case. Well, they even bundled in a free stain on the back. Yeah, boy. It's got a great power supply. It's got an RTX 2060 Super. It's got 32 gigs of, I think it's LED RAM. This should not be 375 pounds. Is this like stolen goods? If Vic loses, he can lick the stain. <laughs> <laughs> you know when I saw that there was a monitor for 40 pounds? I thought it was gonna be like this big. This must be 30 plus inches. <laughs> this is part of the same robbery. <laughs> no stains, so maybe not. I'm putting a lot of trust in this equipment. Let's hope it actually pulls through on the day. Not one of the more comfortable walks we've done. <laughs> Can you carry your PC on your back? I actually can't, so I'll have to put down. <laughs> yeah. It's not nearly as portable. That is a monster, though. It's very overkill. It's like thick with five Cs. So this is a RTX 4090. Yeah. 24 core Intel Core i9. People actually got really angry with me because they're like, you've got a graphics card that has neon lighting in it and you have, you don't even have a clear side panel. So you've outdone me. <laughs> oh wait, there is no, that's, that's different. I've never seen that before. <laughs> it's different, it's multifunctional. <laughs> But the time had come to finally piece this $500 rig together. I'm just setting up my super budget rig right next to his, and I'm having some slight stability problems. Should we tell Vic this is immersive mode? Right, so we'll do LEDs all the way around. This is where you feel the fact that the LED strip is a dollar. I mean, technically they weren't wrong about it being five meters, but they didn't specify how many LED bulbs you actually get for that. They've just basically taken like a one meter strip and stretched them out further. LED strip is up. So look, I think it's got like a disco mode. Oh yeah, oh yeah. They're infrequent, but they're quite bright. I'm really curious about this light. I managed to get it at the last minute for an extra 20 pound. This is what's gonna be lighting my face while we're recording. I'm not gonna lie, I think ours looks cooler than his. Taking home that win very, very shortly. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> how did that happen? Quite excited to see how much of a bargain we got with the quality of this monitor. This is becoming quite an imposing setup. But the mouse. I think I should probably flank the monitor on either side with one of these LEDs. It's coming up in two minutes. I've just got to get these stars on. Oh dear God, stick them around our table. All right, this is it. Now that our setup is built, it's time for Vic to rate it. So basically, yeah. All right. What I want to do is I want to show you what I've done here. And I'm quite proud of myself because I've done it on a slim budget. We'll put it that way. You even put stars on for a Vic star. Oh, he knew. Perfect. <laughs> LEDs. Okay. I'm quite impressed, actually. There's a lot of decor. This doesn't seem as budget as I expected it to be. Okay. This is better than setups I've used in my career. I guess actually the question is, if you have a little fiddle, what do you think is the total price we've paid for everything in this setup? What is this, like a transformer? It's like Optimus Mouse. Yes, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> you can have a, have a fiddle with the keys. Yeah. And that's what you think. It's not, it's not my favorite keyboard. This is included. Um, this is included. Mm -hmm. like, 20 quid, monitor maybe 100. I'm really, really bad at this kind of stuff. By the way, as a gaming YouTuber, people assume that I know tech. <laughs> You're the one that knows tech. I don't barely know what's even in my own computer. I sometimes get relatives, they'll come and they'll be like, my computer stopped working. You do YouTube, I right? Actually get Can that you lot. fix it? But you yeah. probably could fix it. I can't. <laughs> you can't do anything. So I don't know, maybe, maybe like, yeah, okay, 700, 800. 900, I want to say like maybe like between 800 and 900 pounds. For the total rig. Oh, I think the desk maybe an extra like 50. The, the chair? 
This is this is this is sturdy. This is high quality. <laughs> yeah. I still think yeah, maybe around 850, 800 would be my guess. So the answer is okay. 495. Oh wow! I guess actually because if you bought but you can't you can't downgrade the S. I can't, no, no, I can't, <laughs> no, but I'm thinking I'm like, where did I get okay. it wrong? Go on. If you bought this as a pre-built, the premium would probably bring it up to like that six, seven hundred. It was pre-built. It was pre-built. Mm-hmm. Oh wow, okay. That is impressive then. Yep. You've got a deal on that, surely. So basically we Facebook marketplaced it. Ah. And it came with a nice little smudge on the back, which we've decided the loser of our um, face off is gonna lick. Oh that yeah, that is an unappetizing looking smudge. Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. concerning. Maybe that's why the price was low. <laughs> yeah. What what I thought we could do is just compare it quickly to yours, because I have not seen your setup fully on. Okay. <laughs> Should we start with the room fully on? Probably. Okay, so yeah. this is not how the room is intended. So look, this is like daytime, this is like civilian mode. What are you about to do? So if we... Did you say civilian mode? Yeah, civilian, <laughs> yeah. And then you close the blinds and reveal the true Vic star. Yeah, here we go. Right. And then if we go, bang, we've got some lighting. Oh. Do you have any favorite colors? You know, I'll let you, I'll let you choose the colors for our game today. One's the top, one's the bottom. This is touch sensitive. Yeah, so you can go whatever you want. <laughs> Tell you what. Come on. Right, you can pick mine. Oh, nice. Okay. You know what? Actually, yours is pretty good. You know, I know. I like this. I like this. I almost feel like this might distract you because it's changing colors so much. And you're going to keep it like yes. that. <laughs> yes. Oh, there you go. Nice. That's the one. You're that there. is the room light. We've got the starlit ceiling. Was this your idea? Yeah. So, Vic Star made sense to have stars on the ceiling. Yeah. I mean, my setup is actually, as far as like gamers and YouTubers go, it's Jesus. very, very simplistic. Um. Um. <laughs> So let's say that again. Yeah, no, this is, if you think about what's on the desk, a lot of gamers, they're gonna have one of these huge, so I've got a very, very basic stream desk. Yeah. Just a few buttons, I've got my lights on there. Let's see if this, there we go. So I've got my, my that's, Agatha That's actually lights. not that dissimilar in brightness to ours, to no, be fair. These do go brighter. They're on 20% now. Oh. <laughs> they go up to 100% and then you're like. Oh my God, okay. So headphones, yeah, so what I've do you got, use? I, I use uh, Bear Dynamics. So these are actually like music studio mm -hmm. headphones, but for the longest time we've all used these for gaming just because they're very comfortable. And, and the nice thing gone. is the, their open back. So if you can see, they're just material and it means you can hear yourself. So when you're commentating, it's quite yes. nice to be yeah. able to hear yeah, yeah, yeah. yourself. Would you say that having those would help you like locate enemies better? Is it that level of quality? Yeah. And you actually like, like you use the sound to be able to like find enemies? 100%, yeah. Especially Especially like right. when I used to compete on Call of Duty. Keyboard um, mouse? Yeah, I had this is a very heavy field of the weight of that. That's probably like a kilogram. Uh, Did someone make this for you? Yeah, um, it's a guy called Glasses. Oh, funny that. He's yeah. made one for me as there well. There you go. So this is mechanical. This is going to help you be more responsive. Yeah. And do you think that's going to make a tangible difference versus like what I've got here with these? Uh, or do you think it's just more the the feel, like how satisfying it is? I think really like a mechanical <laughs> keyboard like this is only going to make a difference if you're competing in the top 0.1% of Because it's game. shaving off like fractions of yeah, milliseconds. It's milliseconds yeah, milliseconds off. One second, let me just log into this. Uh... Oh. Oh, wow. That. Wow. That, um... Vic, you've been Vic rolled. Yeah, have you ever been Vic rolled before? <laughs> um, I have, yeah, I have, but now you have too. <laughs> Wait, is this a prank on me? <laughs> You, <laughs> you've been Vic That is good. That is good. I have two other advantages in my arsenal. One is I have a Herman Miller gaming chair. These are like the most expensive chairs you can get, and they are very, very comfortable. Standing desk. Oh god. So everything goes up and down. You look like comfortable enough. Like you could be there for hours. Yes. You're like inserted into your yeah. desk. Yeah. Well, I look good while I game. I've got oh. a Sony A7R, which I originally got for photography. Oh, every time I look you at this home screen. That is true. I might say it's actually a potential disadvantage. Oh. Because if you think about it, your field of view, you might right. pay less attention to something happening on the side of the screen, whereas from my uh, perspective. Uh, and I've also got less um, space between me and my monitor. Yeah. You've got probably twice as much room. True. What is the monitor? Yeah, it's a 240 hertz. Yeah, you've actually got different monitors. You've got a main one and then a Samsung's yeah. on either side. Yeah, basically this is the one that's important for my gaming. These ones, they're just to display information. So here's what we're going to do. Deathmatch, Halo Infinite, first to 10 kills. Okay. After the first person gets three kills, my team has prepared some extra challenges to, I guess, test the strengths and weaknesses of each of our setups. Okay. What are the strengths of your, your setup? <laughs> The price? My, hey, my... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I really strength, so I do the my, okay, I've got a bigger remote than you. 
There you go. And so, with the trash talk out of the way, time to whoop this guy once and for all. Nerves are starting to set in. Big Star 123 versus Mr. Boss Chief. Mr. Boss Chief. The name of Master Chief is in your name. Exactly. That's got to give you something. Oh, he's got his headphones on. All right, I'm relying on speakers. Are you ready to play some Halo Infinite? Halo Infinite. Actually, I need some sound. Where's my... See, I could headshot you and kill you right now. I'm aiming at your head uh, with a sniper, so I could have one-shot you, but you I did You could have. No, because I'm, I'm doing the sound. I'm yeah, you know, I'll let you do your sound. <laughs> You're going to have to find me, sucker. I'm running. Indoors. Ah, OK. He knows. It's, 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 see, you've got game knowledge. You know when, when Big Star's got the sniper. <laughs> you don't, you don't want to be outside. Oh, OK. Oh, he's killed me! <laughs> oh no! He sniped me! Did you no scope me? I won. No, I quick scoped you. <laughs> One shot to the head. I have zero idea what this gun is, but we're gonna find out. Oh, oh. That that didn't look enjoyable. You just evaporated me. Yeah, this is uh, quite the weapon. Do you feel bad? No, 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 none of that, none of that. Oh, God, this is where, this is where it comes. <gasps> He's got, he's got three kills. So he's got three kills now? in fast succession. Yeah, what happens? Okay, third kill. Okay, so that means the fourth kill. The rule for both of you is no chair. No chair. Don't mind if I just... Uh... <laughs> this is... Uh... <laughs> I mean... No chair is uh, it's quite casual for a guy like me right now. No chair? Does this monitor bend? Okay, it does bend. That's fine. How comfortable are you right now? Yeah, I'm pretty cozy. It actually feels quite good. I feel quite free, quite fluid. Well, what is that weapon? That looks I, horrible. Honestly, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Here he comes. No. But again, it's... Oh! Oh, I've nearly got him! He so nearly got me back again. Look, oh, this is it. He escaped. Found some cover, got my shield back up, my health back up, so. Not for long, sucker! I don't oh, like this gun. I don't, but... I don't like guns, I don't understand what they do. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Ah! No, oh, don't kill me! <laughs> Damn it! I was, I was within a moment of death there, but so were you. 4 0. Guys, can you set a new rule? <laughs> Okay, rule number four is that both of you have to use your maximum desk height. My maximum desk height is not actually particularly convenient. It does oh, okay, okay. <laughs> the ceiling. This is where I look like a dwarf. Okay, okay. <laughs> He's comfy, I'm not so comfy. Okay, this is good, this is good. I feel in control. How do you think this compares visually to other shooters out there? This is the smoothest Halo playing experience I think I've ever had. I think they've come a long way, actually. Because I remember yeah. it just used to feel so clunky. Yeah, 100%. Whoa. That was what? a no-scope headshot. <laughs> you know, you know scope involved in that. <laughs> <laughs> there was no way that could be guaranteed to be a headshot, but it was. 5 0. Guys? The next one is window game. So you've got to half screen it, both of you have, in your game. I'm going to make this as small as I possibly can, just to, just to see how we go here. No, but then I have to look at the Vic roll. <laughs> I have a tiny screen here now. So you're gaming right now on a phone-sized display. It looks like, a, do you remember the Nintendo SP? I oh, had the yeah. little square screen, the little the little flip up. Uh, yep. It feels like I'm gaming on a yeah, <laughs> Nintendo SP. Oh, I can't even screen watch him now. <laughs> yeah, that's one upside. You got a grab hammer. <laughs> I'm coming. No, I'm you're, coming. Gonna, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. Please, I've got to kill you. Come on! Watch out, you big guy! Reload off! You're getting a bit close there! Oh god, okay, thank okay. god. Got Fair my first enough. kill. I probably deserve that. The next rule is we've got to use speakers only. Oh, I'll, headphones out! I'll just do no sound. This guy. You know I've got a kill now, right? You can't you can't talk like that anymore. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> oh! 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 oh, oh yes! yes. He picks up the rocket. Here we go, here we go. Okay, I know, I know what I'm about to change. Five, it's two. It's different now. And then, to properly spice things up, and to stop Vic's domination, we swapped setups. This is going to be conclusive proof of does the setup matter? Matter, yeah. Or is it the gamer? You know what, I actually, I feel for you. Okay. This is not enjoyable. This, this feels is... incredible. And I've got the mouse cord, like, catching. So I can tell, like, one of the things that makes such a difference here is the contrast and the sharpness of your yeah, monitor. The colours are not great over here. The frame rate is 
not great over here. And it's kind of a combination of everything. It's the fact that your PC is powerful enough to play it at its absolute best, and the monitor can display it at its best. I've got the best control. It's also proven that if you play a game on a higher frame rate, when someone comes around the corner in front of you, you'll see them. Yeah, see, I can't, I can't snipe like I could on that. If, okay. if I was on my computer then, I would have been dead. Yeah, can have to change up the uh, change up the game plan a little bit. You're actually going to play in a different way to accommodate that that setup. Yeah. yeah, not rely on the sniper. I'm going to have to play a bit more aggressively and kind of use something that has more margin for error, which would be this battle rifle that I have right here. Wow, wow, this yeah. is great. <laughs> How the tables turn. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, oh. That was close, still, still but you got me, you got yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. So we've not just swapped PCs, we've also swapped scores, which I desperately needed. But that technically means I'm ahead right now, so as long as I stay ahead... Surprise. Oh, he's come from above! Yeah, you is. cheeky! Oh, that was well played. There we go, that's... Even if your setup's not great, you can use hover in the game, use movement to... What's the biggest limiting factor of everything you're using there? At the moment, I just feel like there is, there is delay between... Oh my god, you... And so the first shot I missed, on that setup, I think the first shot would have been a headshot. I moved, I went and shot, and I hadn't accounted for the kind of delay on this setup. But then once I realised that, I'm like, okay, I just need to wait a little longer for my aim to actually catch up with the head of the player I'm sniping, and then I hit the snipes. It's crazy humbling, because most people I play games with, I'm the best person in that, those groups, but... Wow, oh. <laughs> It's, it's different out here. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Stay away from me! Oh, he's overtaken me. He... Bad setup is in the lead. There are a lot of people who want to get into PC gaming, but they don't have enough to splurge. They've got the kind of budget you would have for a console, but they want a PC game. And so I guess the question we're trying to answer is, is $500 enough to build a PC setup? Or at that point, are you actually better off just buying a PS5? I think nowadays, PC is always the way to go. You can access more games. You can... oh. There we go. I got him! Go. I got him! And Kip came to, came to haunt me there. <laughs> that game. Yeah, no, I'd say PC gaming is, is the way to go. There's more games that you can play. I think it's just, it just gives you a lot more options. So we're on 6-6 six, six right now. Yeah, 6-6. Six, six. We're completely tied. Oh, now it's 7-6. And there we go. That was another little gaming thing right there. So I identified that you had the rockets. Yep. And the safest place you are from someone with rockets is on the high ground. So I immediately moved to the high right. ground above you, and it meant that you shot through rockets, and I got away with it, and I survived. So if I was above you, I could have shot down and exploded exactly. the ground around you. Yeah, you would be able to miss, effectively. <sighs> and still get me. So it's just little things like that. So even if you're on a budget setup, if you know your game. This is like actually really like interesting. Like it's fascinating. As a sniper, you're much better off where you are now. Yeah. And I want to get you to come down, really. So I want you indoors. What do you mean by that? Well, that, sound, that doesn't sound great. <laughs> <laughs> See, here we go. And now uh, when you're on the lower ground. Wow. I regret to inform you that I'm on match point right here on this. Uh, yep. <laughs> on this. <laughs> One kill to go. Questionable setup. So if you're enjoying this, a sub to the channel would be. It'd be, be a dub. Yeah, it'd be an easy dub. On this setup, this won't be an easy dub. <laughs> It'll be a dub. Why do they call it dub? I guess it's another way of saying double. You can win. It's final life. I'm actually like, even though I kind of knew this was going to happen, the reality of it is, is scaring me. It. it is. It is. Slowly but surely. But I still think I got this! Oh! Uh, yes! Come on! Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around! Come back here! Come back here! Uh. No, don't you dare shoot me in the air! Don't! Yes! Okay, alright, 9-7. I'm still in this! Still in this one. That would have been disrespectful. Yeah, you know what? I nearly pulled it off. Choose your next move wisely, Vic. It's not game over till it's game over. I love how I'm just unashamedly screen watching. I'm not even trying to hide it. I actually, I miss this. I miss couch co-op yeah, gaming. Yeah, you know, actually, just like... there, there is something that we've lost in gaming that is that I grew up playing split screen with my brothers, my cousins. It was like, it becomes much more real. And yeah, I just don't think anyone does it anymore. It's just seeing the face of, oh, 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 oh. that's not how I want to go. 
it's seeing the face of someone you've just beaten up, and I see you getting onto high ground again. You're doing it. Yes. I'm gonna switch weapons now. Oh! Yes! Oh. Oh. Did, I, did I catch you off guard? You did, you did, you did. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know you were there. <laughs> oh, it's closing down, it's closing up. Heart rate's rising. Oh, 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 oh! Oh! He's caught me. Nine, nine! He's caught me napping, you know, I have no awareness. On this setup, I just have no, I've, I just don't, I've, I have no awareness of what's going on around me. Just to be clear, it's nine, nine yeah, right now. No, it is, it is an even squared nine, nine right now. It okay. Is, it is anyone's game on this next kill, and you do have two power weapons. Right. So. Oh my god. This could go either way here. I didn't think it would come to this. We've slightly <laughs> cheated, but I did not think it would come to this. I've got to be real careful now. Desperately careful. Oh, that could have been it. That could have been it. That could have been it. It could still be it. Oh! The rocket hit me directly. The rocket hit me directly. I would have been fine. I think that was your last rocket as well, potentially. Yeah, so there we go. That is what happens when you bite off more than you do. Equipment matters. Wow. The boss chief defied all odds and beaten the pro gamer. So maybe the setup does matter. It did make a difference. Maybe I'd say it's 20%. Give me like 20 minutes and I'll be with you. I'm just uh... <laughs> Just bathing in the glory. That was a good game. Wow. There we go. GG, my friend. GG. Oh my god. <laughs> right, so, um, this stain... <laughs> no! No!